hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is hannah renee it is so nice to meet you and this is young womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle self-care and homemaking so we are taking care of ourselves in our home today by doing my monthly reset routine so if you've never seen one of these videos i always start in this spot and i do a little reflection on the past month so this is what september looks like i know that <laughs> looks like a lot of stuff but it was actually chiller than july and august were for me i feel like overall this month was slower for us we just got to have a lot more evenings at home and just got to hang out with each other a lot more and didn't have as many social things to go to Truthfully, I've had a hard time getting into the fall spirit until last week because it's been so hot here. So it's been like 70s and 80s and I really would like it to be 60s and 70s. That would be more ideal. But last week, because of Hurricane Helen that was flowing through Florida, we got a lot of that rain it's just been raining all week pretty much but today we actually have some clear skies still in the 70s this month i did a lot of church events i filmed some content at cool places like i normally do i started getting into fall fashion and started wearing some cute fall outfits which i'm excited about we launched a challenge for my travel directory that I run socials for. So we took a lot of photos and videos for that. We went to the Morgan Wallen concert, which I posted a whole vlog of that if you want to see that. And that's the whole month. So not too shabby, not too much to report either. So that is my reflection. So what I'm going to do to finish up this reflection is... I'm going to do this page in my dream daily planner. This is what the dream daily planner looks like. I talk about this in every reset, but if you've never seen one, this planner is by a small business owner on social media. Her name is Hannah Ashton. She owns dream daily and made this planner. So I use this for my resets, but I'm going to go through and fill out this reflection and then share what I wrote down. is my reflection so for core memories i put morgan wallen obviously i had a blast at morgan wallen we had a worship night for a young adults group that was a circle so you put the musicians in the center and the crowd is around them and it was so cozy there was lamps and rugs and it just was my favorite thing the challenge launching for the smokies was a big thing that happened this month so lots happening there the smokies is the account that i was talking about earlier sorry that doesn't make sense to you so this month's wins is my slower schedule i've just appreciated that hopefully october is gonna be like that but i don't think so <laughs> making extra money through side hustles alec and i have been working on that still have some more things that we could do to make extra money 
I got out of my reading slump and I've been reading again, so that's been good. To improve next month, stop procrastinating projects. There's been so many projects that I've just been procrastinating them or only doing a little bit of it and not finishing it, so we just gotta do those. I really want to plan a lot of fall cozy activities. Like I said, I wasn't really in the fall mood in September because of the weather, but we are getting into it. So that's happening. And then also don't work the entire day. I have a problem where <laughs> I work from the moment my eyes are open to the moment they go to sleep to the moment I close them. And I know that's not great, but that's just how I've always operated so i'm really good at keeping rest days i have once a week rest day but i don't rest on those other six days at all so just trying to do something simple like read a chapter instead like just put the laptop away for a little bit to read a chapter that would be good so the last part is these little categories here. So there's five boxes and you highlight your score for them for the month. So my score for work is four out of five. I feel like work is going good. Personal is four out of five. I feel like I'm doing good personally. Wellness is four out of five. Again, been having slower evenings so it's easier to take care of myself. Social is two because just didn't do as much social things. Finances is two because we're trying to pay off debt right now and we have a good chunk that we're chipping away at. Hobbies is three because one of the projects I was procrastinating was taking care of my plants so we just gotta get back into those hobbies. We are gonna talk about goal setting for October. So again, how I do this is by going to my planner and going to the goal setting page, which looks like this, big goals, mini goals, action steps, projects, and habits. So pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna fill it out and tell you about it. the monthly goals it's mainly projects I've been procrastinating so you may have heard me talk about these because I didn't do them last month the big goals are cozy fall activities I feel like in November everyone just neglects fall pretty much and starts decorating for Christmas which I don't like but I want to get in my fall activities while other people are still in the mindset of it buying hardwood for supplies I've said this last month but we were gifted hardwood floor and we want to install it in our upstairs of our house but the supplies to install it was going to be like $300 and I thought it would be more like a $50 project so I just wasn't prepared for that and so I just want to buy those supplies and get that project rolling. Pay down our debt is the other big project. Mini goals we want to find a retirement to start investing into. I need to clean out our Tupperware cabinet. I need to fill out my birthday and Christmas list of things that I want people to get me. I need to list clothes online to sell. My mom told me about this freelance website that you can make money off of, so I want to check that out. I want to revive my photographer Instagram and start making money that way. I need to clean up our garage. 
I need to look at cheaper car insurance and see if that is an option. I need to organize our filer of all of our important documents and I want to buy a treadmill. I've been trying to buy a treadmill on Facebook Marketplace for the last month and I just keep getting ghosted by people selling them and I understand but I wanted to get a treadmill and then cancel my gym membership because I feel like I only use my gym membership for the treadmill so I thought I'll just buy this put it in our garage and then cancel that and save some money in the long run the rest of these projects are for work so we'll skip that and my habits are to end work at 10 p.m. every night and read a chapter a day so good habits good goals it started raining again so I have a little lamp because you would not be able to see me very well but I'm going to start planning for October in my monthly plan section so you can see I already have important dates in here we got a lot of fun things coming up like I'm going to visit my friend out of town just for the day because it's not she doesn't live that far like an hour and a half I'm visiting her this Saturday then I have a baking day at my Nana's house that I planned with her so that's exciting I am going on a work trip to Middle Tennessee so that is the next weekend of October I'm getting my hair dyed I have a wedding the next weekend in October my mom and both of my grandmas are gonna go to like this apple orchard place that's local here I'm gonna take my brother senior pictures Halloween those plans and that's the month so I am gonna start filling out the things on the side which are weekly to do's bills to pay appointments to make books movies tv and notes so I am gonna fill that out mapping all this out the bills to pay are pretty much the same as normal appointments to make I don't really have any oh wait I do I'm gonna get my nails done this month because of that wedding and I don't ever get my nails done but I thought a wedding was a good time to do that so then for books movies and tv I'm currently reading The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I'm already 25% of the way through, so that won't take too long to finish. Gilmore Girls, I may finish Gilmore Girls, or I may just try to let it linger until November. We'll see. My book club book is Marketing Made Simple. I'm like halfway done with it, so I'm going to finish that. After I finish The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, I want to read Midnight Library, so... I don't know why but that kind of gives me October vibes from the cover so I want to read that one. Also for TV I need to finish the part two of Emily in Paris. It already came out but I need to watch it and Outer Banks part one comes out so Winston is barking downstairs. Shush! For the first week of October I'm gonna focus on car insurance, listing my clothes online, buying groceries, and reading. 
those are my tasks <laughs> for the second week it's going to be organizing my filer getting my photography instagram ready the website my mom told me about and reading for the third week i want to go on a fall picnic with Alec so I'll plan that and how that works. I need to organize the Tupperware cabinet. I need to plan my birthday list and then reading. Fourth week, gonna buy the supplies for the hardwood floor project. Clean out the garage. I want to go to a pumpkin patch that week and reading. And then the week of Halloween, so the last week, I want to paint pumpkins buy my treadmill finally have a movie marathon day just like a whole day of watching movies and reading again so that's my plan for october i'm really excited for it actually but now let's do some of the projects i've been procrastinating from last month so time to do that i may go into the future and do tomorrow to do them or I may do them today. Depends on how much time I have. We'll see. Ignore the dishwasher in the background and the dog playing with the bone in the background. But it is now two days later since I filmed that last clip. And I finally am going to do the projects that I said I was going to do. So I'm going to repot some plants. I've just been procrastinating doing this. And I'm going to clean out our like... I call it a utility closet it has house things like i don't even know what's what the machine is in there but that's where we store cleaning supplies paper towels toilet paper things like that so i need to clean that out so let's get started on these projects The last thing I'm going to do in this video is my content corner. First, I am reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I finished it just a few days ago. I only rated it three stars because Taylor Jenkins Reid really writes complex characters and she does a great job doing that. And I can understand why this book is so popular, but the themes in this book were not my favorite. And I wouldn't have read it if I knew that they were included. Glad I read it though. It was great. And I probably would have been wondering why it was so popular. And why so many people loved it. So three stars out of five. I did not finish any shows this month. 
was watching Gilmore Girls the whole time, pretty much. I'm on season four. Movies, I watched Inside Out 2 because it came out on Disney Plus. And I would rate this a five out of five because I loved it and I was scared that it wasn't gonna be as good as the first one, but it was. They did a fabulous job. Even with the adding of new characters, there was nothing really missing, I felt like. I felt like it was complete and it was a good story. So I highly recommend watching Inside Out 2. And it has a good message about anxiety. So go watch that, definitely. That's prevalent in our society. So those are my content reviews. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you. I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys! Thank you.